developments today in the case of a teen killed by her airbag. Later this morning, the Fort Bend County Sheriff's Office is expected to shed new details on the accident that claimed the 17-year-old's life. Our consumer expert Amy Davis is live in the newsroom with the latest. And Amy, this is just a tragic story. Is Rachel because this minor accident was last week, but we just learned last night it was not the impact from the fender bender that killed the teenage driver behind the wheel, but the Takata airbag that deployed and cut her throat. Now, later this morning, as you said, Fort Bend County Sheriff Troy Neals is expected to speak in greater detail about the death of George Ranch High School senior. Huma Hanif. She rear ended another vehicle on March 31st on FM 762 at Gagno Road. And we spoke with Oscar Arayaka. He was one of the first to try and help her. And he said when he approached her car last week, he noticed she had a large gash on her neck. I tried to just uh, hold the, the, you know, where the blood was coming out. Mm -hmm. Just, but there was, I feel like that there was not a whole lot I could do. Now, Takata airbags have been linked to at least 11 deaths and dozens of injuries worldwide. Two of those deaths now here in our area. And the defective airbags are still in millions of vehicles on our roadways. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration says out of 24 million cars with these potentially dangerous airbags, less than a third of them have been repaired, leaving some 17 million still at risk. Now, if you want to check if your vehicle is under this recall is included, we've posted the link where you can do that easily at click2houston.com at the top of our homepage this morning. Now, part of the problem is that dealerships still don't have all of the replacement parts they need to repair the airbags, but you should still call and check and get in line if there is a line to get yours repaired. I'm consumer expert Amy Davis, KPRC, Channel 2 News.